Alright guys, hello, this is Generator Gal. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Warrior Cats game. In this episode, <laughs> I know I'm not the best at making Warrior Cat games, but I've gotten better. I don't actually have any, I'm working on one right now. My old game is really sucky, so I do not recommend playing it. I have a new account that I'll be releasing my game soon. I also plan on make, um, filming some more gameplays. So basically what you're gonna want to do is we're gonna well we're gonna make a cat walk so first you got to delete any sprites that are in here like the scratch cat sprite you don't actually have to delete anything if you don't want to but you're gonna go into choose a sprite paint now you can draw your cat in here I tend to use bitmap if I'm drawing it in scratch you can just draw that or you don't have to you might want to draw it in GIMP or Photoshop then you're gonna choose upload costume and I have mine in a cat folder. So this is, you're gonna wanna have frames. See how this cat is standing, sort of? It's kind of a sucky stand. And then that's a little bit running. I have BB3. I tend to have, um, let's see how many, I think six frames. Yeah, six frames for my running, and that's what a lot of people on Scratch do. Now, I used a reference for this cat, and that would be Wild Flight's cat. Um, mine obviously looks quite a bit different, but that's basically what I'm going to do. So, mine looks a little different because I messed up the coloring. But what you're going to do is you're going to take all those frames, and you're actually... Now, there is a way to flip it left and right. But I tend to flip it in like GIMP or something, because flipping it in Scratch can really mess it up. It can like set send it like across, um, across like the stage, and that's not good. So I tend to make costumes separately and just kind of flip them on the program I use to paint in it, which is GIMP. Um, 11 and 12, 9, 10, 11, okay. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to go into the code. Basically you're first going to look at what your cat looks like when it's just standing. My cat looks a little weird, but BB1 is my cat standing and BB7 is my cat standing the, who's facing left. So you're going to go into code and let's say you want W, you can either use AD or arrow keys. So I'm going to show you how to do both. So when right arrow key pressed or when, oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> um, I forget how to do this. Um, I know there's a way to just make it easier. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do that. So let's say, or for going right, D button pressed. And so for right arrow, we're looking at one through six as our facing right. So, first you're going to go to control, and you're going to put in an if blank, then, else, blank. So basically, you're going to put in, um, that's not the right thing, key, blank, press, pressed, and you're going to put, <laughs> I, I totally missed it, right arrow pressed, I totally know what I'm doing, guys. You're going to put change X by, let's look at, X is already in the right place. I tend to do X plus, and my X seven, and then I looks change to BB one, and so when right arrow is pressed, just in BB one. So that looks like that right there. 
Now that's not exactly great. And then you're going to want to put else change set costume to standing. And then you're going to duplicate this. And we're going to change the costume to BB2 or your second frame. So it looks like this a little bit. Next, you're going to duplicate it again. Right arrow is pressed, change costume to BB3, move 7, BB1. But I kind of forgot something. You're going to go up a little bit, and you're going to put on the second one, you're going to put 0 0.05 seconds and point. 0 0.05 seconds. You're going to wait that much time. If right. Then you're going to duplicate that. Put in your fourth frame. Duplicate that. Put in your fifth frame. Duplicate that. Oop. Make sure it's underneath that. Duplicate. Make your sixth frame. Your sixth frame should look a lot like it's going to be standing again. And then you're going to want to take your standing frame and put it there. And you can just copy and paste it to D if you want to have A and D to move to. So let's quick put it, go to 0, 0 real quick. And then when you're pressing the A key, it's going to look like that. My key is a little borked, so... Oh, I forgot. You have to, if you're using the D, you have to just change all the right arrows to D. So let's do that real quick. I don't usually use AD to move, but oop, some people do. So it's whatever's easiest. So let's try D key. There you go. I just realized something. <laughs> One of my costumes, the leg is white instead of black. It doesn't really matter right here because I'm just teaching how to play but it really bothers me. I'm a perfectionist. So let's... Good enough! You know what? <laughs> let's forget about it. But then there's left. And that's actually a little different. Let's clean up blocks real quick. Let's say you want to do the left arrow. I missed it again. Sorry guys. Then you're going to want to change all of this, right arrows, to left arrow, and you're going to want to make sure the costume is, oh I went down a little bit, you're going to do left arrow, and you're going to completely change your standing one to 7, because that's where you're standing, 7 is facing left. So you're also going to change your x by negative 7. All this has to be negative 7. And you have to make sure that it's going to the next frame there. So the next one would be BB8. Make sure that's BB7. BB9. 10. 7. Oh, that has to be an 11. 7. 12. 7. Seven. So that kind of makes sense, right? Oh, that did not work. Oh, I forgot to change the left arrows. <laughs> See, I'm not even following my own thing. I totally know what I'm doing, guys. I, if you find that you're, it's not working, just look through it again, and you'll figure it out, what's going wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, I forgot to do negative sevens. See, trial and error, you guys. You can also just copy and paste using control C and then paste it using control V, control V, control V, control V. And let's see if it works. Also, I messed up the pause in the front. I will fix that while I'm working, but for right now, my cat looks okay. Just ignore the problems. Like I said, I, I accidentally put pause there. And then on all the other frames, there's no pause. So that's a user error. You can easily fix it in Scratch by just coloring it in. 
hopefully. And yeah. I'll fix that later because I'm going to be using this a lot to show you guys. <laughs> I say I'm going to do it later and then I'm doing it right now. But I'm going to use that to show you guys a lot of stuff. My drawings are not the best. They're kind of pixely. I actually like the pixely look. But hopefully this will teach you how to do it. I recommend looking at a um, reference when you're trying to do it running or walking because that's probably the best way to make it look realistic. Wee! And that way, the reason I do it that way is because if someone starts pressing right or left, like, really quickly, it's going to look a little weird. But let me show you what would happen if you just do this. If left arrow pressed... Um... Change x by negative 7... If you were to do this, let's say you're going to do something like this, where it's all just kind of together, it's simpler, yes, but it's going to look weird, and I'll show you why. Because if someone lets go before the cycle is finished, watch what will happen. This looks fine, and if I let go, it'll just stop in the middle of the cycle. If someone's just pressing randomly, it's just going to keep... It's going to go like this, this is normal. Otherwise, if you, it can just go really fast, and if someone lets go, they're going to notice that it keeps going like this. But the problem comes in, if you're doing it both that ways... Here, let me show you what will happen if you're doing it like this. Sorry guys, this is taking a little while, but I just have to explain to you why this is not a great way to code. Five, six, seven, seven. Because if you're trying to walk and then you switch like this, it'll go like absolutely bonkers. Oh, I have to take this out. <laughs> You have to get rid of these real quick. Alright. It'll totally be like, it'll not know what to do. Like it wants to write out the entire animation and it just looks kind of crazy. So, I don't know, that's probably fine, but, oh man, I just got rid of the two things that I Oh my gosh. Well, I'll be saving this real quick. And tutorial. And yay. All right, you guys. So I just taught you how to do that. You can technically do it this way if you really want to. It's probably a little easier to do. But there can be problems. I don't remember what the big problems were, but I just remember it was kind of messed up a little bit when I tried to do it that way. But if it seems to work for you, that's absolutely fine. So that's my video. Bye-bye.